Hey everybody, this is Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite things for the month of October. I didn't have any duds, which is good. I'm not buying a lot of things, which is good. So um, I've just got some good things to talk about. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with my absolute favorite thing. And if you're a regular to my channel, then you know this. <clears throat> and that's my Huda Beauty palette. This is the Desert Dusk palette and let me show you I absolutely love this palette <coughs> excuse me there are all the shades and I am playing in all of them I love them so that's my absolute favorite thing for the month of October I have a lot of other favorite things so next is the Fenty Beauty foundation this is the pro filter and my shade is what? 7079B? Or no, 280. 280 is my shade. <coughs> Excuse me again. I think it's going to be a little dark for winter. Perfect for summer. I can still get away with it right now, but I think it's going to be uh, a little dark for winter. So this one will probably, probably be put up until springtime, but love that foundation. Next, um, I've got some bath, bath and body kind of things. Hair, let's start with the hair. I am loving my Win Fall Ginger Pumpkin Conditioner. I love Win. I've always loved Win. I don't use it exclusively in my hair anymore. I do use uh, other things for shampoo, and I do use other conditioners now. I try other things, but I always keep Win in my shower. So if I'm trying something and I just can tell it's just awful, I can use my Win too. This one smells good. This one definitely smells like fall. Mmm. Pumpkin ginger. I love ginger. I know a lot of people don't, but yeah, pumpkin ginger. Next is something I found at Bath and Body Works, and I'm so glad I found it. And I'm seriously thinking of going and seeing if I can get some more. And that is uh, their fall collection, the Caramel Apricot, the body wash. And I've got the body spray. And I've got the body cream. Um, the reason... I absolutely adore these is they smell just like the Brazilian bum bum cream and I love I love the Brazilian bum bum cream a really small jar is 20 bucks though this is 1350 for this big tube so yeah I think I might need to uh, maybe stock up if they haven't already ran out I haven't been going to Bath and Body Works a lot lately you know but I need to, I was doing a little inventory. I don't have a lot of stash left and I need some uh, Christmas flavors. Another thing I'm loving is this Bath and Body Works candle. The homemade goodness of pumpkin cupcake. You can see I'm burning it. Mm, my husband loves this. Ah, I love this. It does smell like a pumpkin cupcake. So that's a favorite. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is a couple things I picked up at our local Craftsman's Fair. Um, it's a really uh, upscale craft fair we have here. It's not just here, it's in other places in the south. And it's called, uh, it's put on by the Southern Appalachian Handicraft Guild. And it's really hard to get uh, into the, the guild. My grandmother was a member. She made white oak baskets. And she would start from cutting the tree down. She made the baskets from trees. I mean, and I, I learned how to do that. Not the cutting the tree part down, but when you have all the pieces, I can make a basket just like hers. And she taught at different universities around here. She taught at Clemson. Um, she, her baskets are in the Smithsonian. My grandmother has since passed away. She was 104 when she passed away. But uh, the guild, the, the craft fair is really upscale, high-end, Things. There's a lot of homemade jewelry, and I'm not talking about string and beads. I'm talking about expensive jewelry, furniture, um, all kinds of things. And I'm going to show you kind of what I mean. I adore glass, and I picked up these homemade, homemade, these 
blown glass ornaments. Or are these not gorgeous? No, they weren't cheap, but they are just absolutely gorgeous. This one is black and white. And the guy who made this said this was actually an accident. He thought he was doing blue and white. That the glass he was using, the blue and the black, looked very similar. But I told him I love this black and white. I might have bought more black and white if I could have. This just reminds me of Jack Skellington. Or Beetlejuice. Yeah, I guess because it was fall and you, know, you get the Halloween season, you know, things going through your head. I just adored this. And then I got a smaller one because these aren't cheap. So I got a smaller one and this one. I just love the colors. And I think these probably will not end up on my Christmas tree. This one, <coughs> excuse me, I think will end up in my kitchen somewhere. Maybe this one too. I don't know. <coughs> excuse me. So anyway, these, I just, I love these. I love glass. And so I just think these were gorgeous. So there we go. So that's my favorite things for October. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted every time that I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will talk to you next time.